Don't tell me those little cherubs can climb ladders. If they can, I'm so fucked. Tell you what, what I might do, <clears throat> I will make a. You've never played this game, it is any good. Spectral glove? Um, it depends. Have you played Chrono Trigger? What was the. What was it, the spectral glove? Where the fuck did it go? Grave Roots, Silver Pendant. What the fuck was it called? Oh, it's like it's just, it's just a thing. It's a weapon. Cool. Never had a console that had it. Ah. Fair enough. Because, I mean, if you're a big fan of Chrono Trigger and you've played Chrono Trigger, yeah, the game is still good, but it's a bit of a kick in the pants because it's totes itself as a Chrono Trigger sequel, and yet it's got very little to do with Chrono... I mean, the story does tie in at the end, but from the start, I mean... Let's just say, yes, it's a good game. It's a bit weird, but it's a good game. Hey, Drafforin! Let's see... Ah, It's a good game, the battle system's weird, but once you get into it, it's good. Sure, it hasn't aged very well, and it's could certainly do with an update or something. But yeah, I've I've just run backwards, haven't I? Fuck. And he hello, Drafforin, you missed the orphanage of flame, and that was really good. And yeah, you missed us getting a fucking flying anti-grav boat, and. Yeah, that's about it. Oh, you lucky devil, Cody Karras. This game was never actually released in Australia, so I'm having to resort to less than credible means to play this game. No. Remember we had that little alien we recruited ages ago? Well, we took him to visit his spaceship in the other world which was still intact, and he took out the anti-gravity engine, and he stuck it on the boat, and now the boat can fly, but only up to Terra Tower. I mean, God forbid if we tried to use it to go out and explore the rest of the world. No, we can't do that. We've got to stick to the El Nido archipelago. Hey, Yohasio. Got to get a class, is it? Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. I left it to straw pole, and that's what came up. It's pretty funny when they start talking to the main character and go, Oh, God, what was that? Yeah, you missed a fair bit, Drafforin. Well, I say you missed a fair bit, but yeah. It really depends if you like Steve's story, too, because there was a lot of feelsy crap going on there. Which was really touching me in ways I didn't want to be touched, but eh. I am so fucking lost. I go into a battle and I completely forget where I'm going. Yeah, this is the final dungeon of the game. So yeah, you have missed quite a considerable amount, and yeah. You're actually surprised your clan's fifth anniversary is coming up. Oh, you've been married for five years? Wow. You're gonna do another game of uh, Cards Against Humanity or something along those lines? Eh? Eh? Don't do that. Okay, 
Okay, so that's where we came from down there. Seriously, is there like a door or something? Well, time to do what I always do and consult the guidebook. Go to the map page. Oh, I can go up the very top. Cool! How did I miss that? I don't know. Where the fuck is that? That is certainly not here. Okay, maybe that is here. Wow. What the fuck? Okay. Guidebook, reading music, very nice. Oh, see, I, I thought this was just a tree, but I can climb this, I think. Maybe. Yep, there we go. <clears throat> oh, watch out for those jizz ghosts. Oh, fuck. That's blocked. Probably can't cross there. Do, 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 do. I should play a song every time I consult the guide. Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have done like a big, um, cash pot thing. Two dollars into the cash pot every time I consult the guidebook and then once the game is completed, give away the pot to one lucky viewer. That would have been great. Wish I'd thought of that earlier. Not at the very end of the game. When I'm pretty well set to deal with any challenge that comes my way. Except for the royal jellyfish. That was a fucking... Ugh, that would have killed me.